YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with a what's in the box for you guys on Pentair's Screen Logic bundle. So stay tuned, we're gonna dive in and show you guys what comes included in this automation system. All right guys, now we're back. So again today we are doing Pentair's Screen Logic automation. This is meant for their older automation, not any of the newer IntelliCenters. All the new IntelliCenters have their own ability to communicate through the app, as well as a touchscreen panel directly at your equipment. So this is meant specifically for the IntelliTouch or the EasyTouch systems. So this will actually allow you guys to hook this up to those automation systems through Pentair and give you access to the app. So then that way you guys can do everything wirelessly just like the newer systems will so it's really cool little additive that they give you guys so we're just going to kind of dive into the box here and show you guys what comes included it does have typically a three-step process when you guys are actually hooking this up we should be getting an installation video for you guys soon so just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button stay tuned for that but uh, it's pretty simple so you don't really have to be too tech savvy to get it all set up um, it's just following the instructions that they provide for you on hooking up all three pieces of equipment. So let's just dive in and kind of show you guys everything so you know what to expect. Got it open here for you. So this is a Screen Logic 2. So this is like the newest upgraded bundle that you guys are going to get. Um, this has got all the latest software on it. So obviously Pentair always gives you their warranty cards. Again, I can't tell you guys enough how important it is to make sure you guys fill this out. When you guys are dealing with something as simple as just a minor part, I mean, going through the process of filing for a warranty for something that you know may only be 20, 30, 50 bucks, isn't necessarily worth your time. But when you're spending money on something like this, which is typically at least a few hundred dollars, I always suggest that you guys file for that warranty. It's, it's just super nice that they give you guys an extended warranty like that. Even as a DIY, you're still gonna get an additional warranty. Typically have to file it within 60 days of purchase. And then typically if you're gonna do a self-install, they'll only give you 60 day warranty. So if you guys can make sure that you lay that out correctly, you still get yourself a four month warranty on something that will normally come with about a two year warranty. Um, when it's professionally installed. So if you have that and you guys got that opportunity, that's the best way to do it. Really simple. That will walk you guys through what to do. Um, they allow you to do it online as well as sending stuff in if you guys want to go old school and use the postal service. But everything is available digitally now where you guys can just upload stuff and be able to complete it in a few minutes directly through their website. So always, always, always do that when you guys are spending this kind of money on something like this. So and then of course they always give you this big old warning make sure before you hook up any electronics turn off your power it's crucial you guys do not want to uh, short circuit anything or shock yourself or fry any of this because that will not be covered underneath any of your guys's warranties so if you break it unfortunately at that point you're gonna have to buy a new one so just make sure that you guys follow these steps again Here's the user manual. It's a pretty hefty user manual, so it's gonna walk you through every step in terms of setting up every piece of automation. So obviously, if you guys already have automation set up at the equipment, when you guys hook this up, it will auto-recognize that, so you don't actually have to go back through and redo all your automation. So they give you the steps for those of you that are gonna do it right from the beginning, so that's why this booklet's a little thick. So again, browse through it if you guys are just doing an upgrade and just trying to get access to the app typically you don't have to follow half of those instructions so just make sure that you guys read through it it's really simple again we plan on having something out in the field for you guys on using it uh, typically we like to use nothing but the new IntelliCenters but obviously um, when you're just trying to upgrade what you currently have this is going to be the best thing for you guys so they give you the nice uh, protocol adapter here. You get the um, Ethernet cable, and then they give you this other big box. They actually have this sold separately, so you guys can actually purchase this separately if you need to. But let's open this up and show you guys. So it's all in one pretty bag here. You have your actual what, what we like to call the egg antenna it looks like a oversized egg for you guys it's this almond color antenna that will actually wire in they give you the wires here to be able to wire it in direct from your equipment into that automation system that you currently have 
Again, this is not a standalone system, so you can't just buy a screen logic and hope that you're gonna turn everything uh, into an automation. That's gonna be something like Pentair's IntelliConnect or their IntelliSync based off of how much um, thing, how many things you have running at your equipment. So again, this isn't standalone. This is a, just an additive to those older automation systems, the Easy Touch systems and the IntelliTouch systems. So don't, don't think you can buy this and just hook it straight up to the app. That's not how that works. There are other products out there that do that. So if you guys need that, check out the links in the description, take you to our website. We have some of those available for you guys so you guys can read up more on those. Again, those are the IntelliSyncs or the IntelliConnects. So they're big on their Intella. It's like a series they have across all their products, including the Intella Flows. And you know, you got your Whisper Flow, Super Flow. So they like to keep everything um, kind of universal for you. So then here we go. You have your receiver that actually plugs into your router. So this is, like I said, a three part system. You're gonna have your egg antenna at your equipment. You're going to have the, the receiver plugged into your um, router directly. So then that way it can receive the signal from the antenna out at your equipment, run through your Wi-Fi, and then start giving you that opportunity to hook it up to the app and use all those things. So you definitely need to make sure that you guys hook it up correctly. And they even give you kind of like a little diagram on the back. It's going to have the, the main interface that goes at the equipment as well as the, the part that you're going to need to make sure that stays plugged into your router at all times. So if you guys lose connection um, because you guys lost power to your router, that's where you're going to end up having to start running through um, like troubleshooting tips on resetting that protocol or resetting that adapter to make sure that it can get the connection that it needs again. So again, I don't want to really dive too much into all of these nice padded, um, into all these nice little bubbles they got here for you. But this is the antenna I was talking about. You guys can kind of see from just the shape here that I'm holding in why they call it a little egg, the little egg timer, the little egg uh, antenna is just because it's shaped. It will have a, uh, an actual antenna part that comes up that's included in here so that you guys can plug that in. This will require power at your equipment. So again, that's why you have to also wire it in as well as making sure that your automation still has power to it. So it's going to be a a little bit of a process for you guys, but again, it's pretty much everything that they have. You're gonna have your main adapter that plugs into your antenna, which is gonna communicate between the antenna and your actual automation. And then you're gonna have your other adapter that plugs into your router, which will receive that connection and allow you guys to be hooked up to the internet. So really a, a cool tool that they give you guys, especially for those of you guys out there that did not have automation. So I highly suggest checking it out. Make sure you guys click the links in the description. We have these available on our website with some more information for you guys. And uh, make sure you guys smash that like button. I really appreciate you guys watching. And again, be sure to subscribe. We've got more of these infield videos coming your guys' way. We're starting to get into our colder season, so it's going to allow us to get out there and actually show you guys some more infield stuff so uh, it can get pretty hot in the summer out here. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so then that way you guys stay up to date. Until then, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm Kyle from Eagles. Thank you.